Frequently, authors make use of logical keywords to indicate the direction their argument is taking. There are two main groups of logical keywords, ones that indicate continuity or support, and ones that indicate contrast, that the argument is about to take a different direction. We'll look at examples of both kinds. First, we'll look at an example of a keyword indicating continuity or support. This sentence reads, the king does not believe in the right to a fair trial. Indeed, he summarily condemns peasants accused of sedition without even giving them a day in court. The key word here is indeed. It indicates that the second half of the sentence will support the previous point. The king does not believe in justice, and he treats peasants poorly. Keywords can also indicate contrast. This sentence reads, The king does not believe in the right to a fair trial. Nevertheless, he has allowed some property owners to plead cases before the royal court. The key word here is nevertheless, which indicates that the second part of the sentence will oppose the previous point. Even though the king doesn't believe in trials, he's allowed some people to have them. Of course, not all keywords show continuity or contrast. Some show emphasis, cause and effect, or signal a conclusion. Take this one for example. This sentence reads, if the king does not believe in the right to a fair trial, then his whims will become the law of the kingdom. The keywords here are if and then, which indicate cause and effect. You can find a large list of many logical keywords in your core content folder.